Hey there, good looking. If you want a quick all standing cardio workout, this is the workout for you. Now listen, the real jewel of this workout is actually the end. Well, that's the real jewel of every workout, isn't it? <laughs> finishing it. But no, I have an amazing abdominal workout scheduled for us at the end of the cardio workout. However, the ab one is on the mat. So we are down on the mat for the abs, but your cardio session is all standing, baby. High and low impact options showing. And as always, in an entertaining and fun way. Hey, lace up your runners. Let's get going. Hello there and welcome. I'm PJ from fitnesswithpj.com and hey, I have been helping people for almost three decades get fitter, healthier, stronger, and I would love to keep working with you. All you got to do is click that subscribe button so that we can get workouts to you. And if you're part of the 25 and 25 challenge, ah, this is day 24, baby. Shall we? All right, let's get warmed up. I'll chat about the workout and then away we go. Let's start with the arms, big arm circles, make them go backwards, nice and tall in the body. So a Tabata means that there are eight rounds, 20 seconds on the clock, 10 seconds break. We're going to perform it traditional style in that we just do one exercise for the full round and then we'll break for some water and do another move. As mentioned though, you have to stay to the end for all the abs I have programmed for us. Last three, two, one, beautiful. Now bring the arms in front, squat, and drive up. Make sure your feet are a bit wider than your shoulders, toes slightly turned out, and let's keep those arms elevated in line with your ground. Bum is pushing rearward. Good job, you. Warming up the lower body and getting that heart rate up. Hope you're having a great day. I promise you, after this workout, you are going to feel amazing. Remember, the end of a workout is the jewel. <laughs> oh, it's the best part of a workout, the end of it. <laughs> Last three, two, one more. One, hands on hips, heel curl for me, getting into the hamstrings. You might want to go a bit wider with this stance. Yes, 25 and 25 challenge people. Oh my goodness. So this is our cardio workout. And then tomorrow you're going to do that workout we did on day one so that you can kind of do like a fitness assessment to see how far you've come. Can you do heavier dumbbells, add more reps? You know, you'll get the email. You'll get it all explained to you. Here we go. Last four, three, two, one, feet together, low impact jack, side to side, tap it out, get that lateral hip, keep the arms moving please, thank you. Four more here, here's four, and three, two, and one. Excellent. Here we go. Leg swing and then other leg, toe coming towards the hand. Reach it. Good. Dynamically stretching into the hamstrings here, working into the hip flexor and quads. Four more. And three, two, one more. Awesome. Shake it out. Now, if you need a little sip of water, go for it now, but just make it little, okay? I'll demo the first move, and then I'll start our timer. We're sinking down into a quarter squat, two shuffles, and then a pop. Two shuffles, and then a pop. Now, that pop can be a jump if you want to add impact to the workout, okay? All right. You finished with your water break? Well, come on. This isn't a union. You don't get 15 minutes. All right. <laughs> I'm going to push the timer. We got 10 seconds to get set up. So I want you to sink down into that quarter squat deeper if you want to make it harder. It's two side shuffles, heel lift or jump in three, two, one, go. One, two, heel lift or jump. Yes. Now, if you've got room to really go and take deep, la wide lateral steps, go for it, okay? 
Work those outer hips. Time. All right, so 10 second break and then number two of eight. Keep the feet moving though, right? Did I say that? I don't think I did, but now I have. It's out there. Go. <laughs> now I'm sinking down a bit deeper on the second one. I'm feeling my knees are getting a little warmer. I'm feeling I can go a little harder and add a little bit quicker side shuffle. Time, march it up. So you pick, okay, the lower impact version, the higher, what's gonna feel good for you and get your heart rate up without hurting your knees. Ready, go. Pick those feet up. Don't wanna trip over them. <laughs> It's tough to do eight rounds of the same move. So, time. Whew. My heart rate's getting up there. Love it. Four seconds, we do it again. Three, two, one, go. Shuffle, shuffle. Good. Come on. March it out. Whew. You ready? Three, two, one, go. We got three more left, and then a new move. Ready, set, go. Time. Woo. Heart rate, 145. I love it. You ready? Of course you are. We're going now. Sink it, jump it, or heel left. Your choice, come on. Time. Okay, we're moving our last one. And then we can wet our whistles, we move on. Ready, set, go! Ten seconds. <laughs> Come on. Get it back home. Time. All right, you keep moving your feet. Whew. We get a mini break. Wet our whistles. All right. Take a look. Next round, you will mirror me. Deal? You step back to a 45 degree lunge. Knee up, side lunge. Knee up. All right, four rounds, and then four rounds the other leg. Ready? No? Yeah, you are, don't worry. <laughs> sure you are. 10 seconds, me or me, okay? Your right leg, starting the 45 degree lunge. You go as deep as it feels comfortable for your knees. Let's try it. Go down, good. Now knee up and side. Knee up, good. So, the knee up is gonna challenge the balance. So if you need to tap down, you go for it. All right, or add a hop. <sighs> So the 45 degree lunge is gonna be a little weird feeling to begin with and then you'll get it. Time. So it's the same leg, okay? All four rounds. We start lunging rear in three, two, one, go. Knee, side lunge. Knee. So I'm not 
lunging that deep when I do the 45. I'm going a bit deeper on my side. Whew. Whew. I'm slowing down a bit too in time. <laughs> yeah. Come on, PJ. Come on. Do you ever do that? <laughs> Talk to yourself. Ready, go. Slap your legs into <laughs> moving faster. <laughs> like it's your legs problem, right? <laughs> it kind of is. <laughs> Time. All right. Good job. Woo. You ready? Same like last time. Go. Up. Up. Okay, so last time with this, your right leg going back. Time. People are texting me. Don't you know I'm on YouTube? <laughs> okay, the other leg, four rounds. Start with the 45, go. Side, good. Does anybody leave voicemail anymore? I hate voicemail. <laughs> Just text me. March it out. In fact, does anybody actually call people anymore? Hmm, I don't. <laughs> Ready? Round two of four on this leg, go. <laughs> <laughs> My legs are getting heavier with every set. Isn't this awesome? Challenging ourselves, pushing the envelope, getting fitter in our own living rooms. Time. Hey, man, that's pretty effing cool. You don't need fancy equipment. You don't need a gym. Ready, set, go. You do need the right workouts though. Trust me. I've worked with tens of thousands of women now in the 30 years of doing this and yeah, there's a lot of wrong workouts for the over 40 body. Whew. Okay, you ready? It's our final set. And then we move on. Get set, go. What I love, bless their hearts, are the 20 something year old dudes, shirtless, trying to teach to over 40 women. Sorry, buddy. You just ain't cutting it. They're hoping they're eye candy. Time. They're not. All right, we just have one more to bat it, and then we move on to that ab routine that you've got to stick around for, okay? We have a punchy jack. Yeah, we're gonna punchy jack. So we punch up and side, up and side, low impact side, 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 side. It'll be awesome, don't worry about it. I know you're tired, but you know what, pumpkin? We're almost done. Here we go, punchy jacks in five. Punch up first, three, two, one. Legs go up, arms go up, good. Low impact, boom. Boom, take a look at the screen, right? Yeah. Land soft, arms are strong, okay? These are punchy arms, they're not spaghetti arms. Time, march it out. Whew. If you've been doing the 25 and 25 challenge, your arms are getting strong and they're probably starting to show some of that beautiful little deltoid cut that you see on sculpted shoulders. Yeah, that's probably you right now. If it's not, keep going, it will be, okay? Time. What do we do in those 10 seconds? Do we sit? Do we have a coffee? Do we have a little coffee chat? No, we keep moving our feet, okay? Don't stop. Ready, set, go. You can stop when the workout is done. It ain't done yet. But 
but you can march on the spot, right? Anytime, if you're getting too tired, heart rate's getting up there, you just march on the spot. <laughs> that ain't quitting. No. <laughs> okay, you ready? Let's do it. Go. Be strong with those punchy arms. Nice. Wide with that jack in the feet. Nice. Good. Chest up, head up. Yes. Smiles on. This is our last cardio session. Time. Woo. Uh oh, my mat's crooked. Uh oh. Call the crooked police. No, don't. <laughs> don't call the police. Go. <laughs> That's actually one of the things I scored high on an aptitude test was a cop and the army. <laughs> and here I am, <laughs> a fitness trainer. <laughs> True story. I went in for a career aptitude test when I was 22. Ready? And go. I also scored high for funeral director. I don't really effing get that, but... <laughs> <laughs> Time. Woo. Okay, we just got a couple more rounds and we'll cool it down. Anyways, my dad used to be in the Navy. So when I came home with this career aptitude test, go and showed how high I scored for Army. <laughs> He's like, honey, he wouldn't survive. You can't start out as a general. <laughs> so I guess that's how come I ended up owning my own business, right? <laughs> you start out as CEO day one. <laughs> Time. You're also, you know, bathroom cleaner, <laughs> receptionist, bookkeeper, you're everything. Ready, set, go. Oh, this is our last one. Come on. Yes. You feeling good now? Oh, I hope so. I hope so. I'm feeling awesome. I'm so happy you showed up. Last three, two, one. March it out. Great job, you. Okay, now we need to bring the heart rates down just a tad, just a tad, just a tad. And then we're moving on to a, <laughs> I don't even want to tell you because I don't want you to leave. So I'm just going to say, this is the best ab workout you will ever do, okay? Now, heads up, this is not osteoporosis friendly. There are a, for lack of a better word, shit ton of crunches. So what I want you to do, if you are one who has osteoporosis, please stop now <laughs> and go into the YouTube workout and find my crunch free app workout, okay? That one's for you, all right? Whew, okay, so keep moving the feet, grab a sip of water if you need it. Okay, we're just going to let the heart rate down, come down a bit, just a bit. So tap side to side, do whatever you want really for this. Walk it around, just don't leave me, okay? But tap it, walk it around, heel lift or heel drives, whatever. Basically, we're just letting the heart rates come down a bit, but not below the 100 mark like I usually cue when we're doing the workouts because they're going to jack up there again when we get down for our crunches. So here's the scoop. Um, we have 13 ab exercises. Don't leave. Don't leave, okay? Because you can stop anytime and do a bridge or just take a break. But 13 of them, only one round. So, hey, that's pretty cool, right? One round, 25 seconds. So we can do this. We can totally do this. At the beginning, I'm going to show sort of the easier way or the more modified way to do the movement on most of them. And then as we get into the move, I'll cue if you want to advance it. All right. All right. Okay, so let's get down onto the ground. The first thing we start out with is a basic abdominal crunch. So heels close to the bum, hands light behind the ears. What you're doing is you're exhaling and looking over the knees, just lifting up to the bottom of the shoulder blades, lift off your ground. You ready? Sit and go. So essentially we're going to get between 12 to 15 reps. So we want slow and controlled. It'll probably be closer to the 15. 
When the timer goes, we have a few seconds transition, but there's not a real big transition of the body for these moves. We're staying fairly, we're staying here on our backs, pardon me, for all 13 moves. So no planks. All right, knees up in what we call tabletop and that exact same crunch pattern. Go. Again, coordinate that exhale as you lift up. Let the head just fall into the hands. Give the head some support so the neck doesn't feel it. Knees over the hips. Time. Now just extend your left leg only and bring the knees close together on this. So just your left and go. Now if you want to make this harder, you drop that left leg a little closer towards your ground. Left leg bends, right leg extends up. Ready, set, and crunch. Exhale. Lower that. Heel down to the ground a bit more if you want to make it harder. That straight leg, I mean. All right, both legs straight up in the air. And I want you to pretend that you're trying to climb a rope. And you're going to come onto the outside of each foot as you're trying to grab onto that rope. Lower body stays still. If this is just too much for the hips and the knees, feet on the ground, okay? Same motion, no problem. Time. Feet back on the ground, a left ankle crossovers the right thigh, hands light behind the ears, and crunch towards that left inside knee. Exhale as you crunch up. Good job. Again, allow that head to just fall into the hands to give it some support. Time. Arms down by your side. Still keep this left leg crossed over and give me a, a reverse curl. So this is a really nice hip stretch too. Do you feel that? Good. Great. Now if you want a bit more, add a crunch with the upper body. few more and then cross over with the other leg crossed over that left thigh. Time. All right, now let's take that right ankle, cross it over. Let's start with the crossover crunch. Exhale. Exhale. Double crunch coming up. Time. So arms down by the side if you need to. Otherwise, keep them behind the head to make it harder and crunch. Both the lower and the upper body are curling off our mats. When we're done this, both feet on the ground and we're going to continue this double crunch pattern. Time. All right, both feet on the ground. Exact same thing, except both feet are coming up at the same time. Good. Time. Drop the knees to your left. Oblique crunch here. You're trying to bring that top rib to hip. So feet are stacked and you're lifting straight up. Keep going. 
We're almost there too. Time, knees to the other side. Rib to hip, go. Bicycle crunch to finish this off and then we're done. See, it was not bad. Well done, you 13 ab exercises in total by the time we're done, time. All right, feet on the ground, it's a lift and twist, go. If you want to increase the intensity, lift the feet off the ground. Time, oh my goodness, straighten your arms, straighten your legs, let's give those abs a stretch. Woo, nicely done. All right, right leg in tabletop only, pull that knee across the body, anchor your body with that right arm on the mat, shoulder height, and hold, stretching into the glutes a bit, into the spine and then with that right arm extended you might even feel a stretch in the front of the chest so bravo i really appreciate you coming there are so many workouts on youtube to choose from so i'm honored you chose mine if you haven't already done so when we're done here make sure you subscribe to the channel we would love to see you come back and other side <sighs> Pull across, and if you're able to, you'll turn and take a look at those left fingertips. If you've been to the workouts in the past and you haven't already joined us on Patreon, come and join us. It's due to that amazing community that we're able to keep the workouts here on YouTube, and as a token of my appreciation, they get extra perks and benefits. The information's down below in the description of the video. And back to center. Let's just roll onto our stomachs, elbows under shoulders, quick ab stretch here. Now, if you want more of a stretch, I'm going to connect one. Okay. And all you have to do is uh, click on it in the last few seconds of the video when you see it appear if you're on YouTube or if you're enjoying this workout ads free on the Over 50 Fitness app. Hey girlfriend or boyfriend, <laughs> I want you to go check out either the yoga playlist or the stretch mobility playlist and you will see hundreds of workouts with the timestamp in the bottom right corner so you can choose what's going to work in your time that you have available. Lift on up and thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it and I look forward to training you next workout. Bye.